Looking at this rhythm strip, we note the presence of a premature atrial contraction. And at first glance, there does not appear to be any P wave deflection associated with the ectopic event. However, if you look closely, you will see that the morphology of the T wave associated with the preceding sinus beat is altered compared to those around it. We can explain this and introduce an important concept by watching events in the heart around the time of the ectopic. Starting with the preceding normal sinus beat, if we freeze events at this point, you can see that this charge from the ectopic focus has occurred during the late phase of ventricular repolarization associated with the preceding sinus discharge. Consequently, the ectopic P wave has been recorded as a small second peak on the preceding T wave. This is an example of fusion. Two electrical events in the heart have occurred at the same time and are recorded by the ECG machine. Their composite effect on the readout produces a fusion complex, which differs in morphology from the surrounding normal complexes. The effect can be much more subtle than shown here. In this example, the ectopic P wave is not visible as a second peak, but has merely added to the height of the preceding T wave deflection, producing a T wave which is taller than normal. Searching for evidence of hidden P waves in this way will become a very important skill when analyzing arrhythmias. Note that the fusion of the waves observed in the example used here is purely an electrocardiographic phenomenon. In the heart itself, the waves do not meet as they are separated by the atrioventricular septum. They fuse on the ECG readout simply because they occur at the same time. In some cases, a fusion complex may result from an actual physical fusion of the relevant electrical waves in the heart. In the situation shown here, a sinus discharge is generating QRS complexes of normal morphology. A ventricular ectopic focus has fired at this point, generating a QRS complex of the expected bizarre wide morphology. Sometime later, the ectopic focus has fired again, but on this occasion, just as a sinus discharge is traversing the AV node. The ventricles are partially depolarized by the sinus discharge and partially by the ectopic wave. Eventually the two ventricular depolarization waves meet and cancel each other out. The QRS fusion complex generated will demonstrate features of both contributing QRS complexes. Identification of this type of fusion beat will be a crucial skill when we go on to analyze tachyarrhythmias.